this is the first day of my training vlog. I'm going to document my journey from having a baby to getting back into shape and hopefully doing a figure competition. So a little backstory. I did a figure competition in November of 2016 and that was about six months before I got pregnant. So I was in probably the best shape of my life and then I got pregnant and gained a ton of weight <laughs> and now I'm ready to get it back off. So when I was doing my figure competition my weight was at about 142 and now I am about 176 which is a big difference. And so this is going to present a lot of changes for me because now I have to balance working out with taking care of a child and spending time with my husband. So this first video all I want to do is just show you where I'm starting. So the way I'm tracking my progress is I'm using this sculpt chisel just to measure my body fat and my muscle quality. Um, it's not sponsored or anything, I just like using it. And I'm also going to just be taking weight and just showing you like a physique update. So hopefully I can do one of these at least every week or every other week. And on the weeks that I don't have an update, I'll probably be doing some workout and some food and some diet things. So hopefully I can show you guys what I'm doing and then you can apply it to your own goals and your own training. So here is my diet plan. Because if you want to make any kind of changes with your body, you have to have a good diet plan or nothing will happen. So right now my goal is muscle gain, which means I need to be in a calorie surplus. So my daily ex energy expenditure is 2300 calories, which is just my basic calorie needs for the day. Plus I'm breastfeeding, which means I need at least between three and 500 more calories. And then I want to be in a surplus so I can get the muscle gain, which puts me at 2,850 calories, which is a lot of calories for me. So, past few months I've been trying different calories as far as, you know, I've gone lower. I was at 2,200 for a while and I noticed that my milk supply wasn't very good, so I went up a little bit. And then I just kept increasing it until I had a good milk supply and I wasn't losing weight every week. And that's basically what I feel comfortable at. I don't feel hungry when I eat that. And so to break it down into my micronutrients, macronutrients, so my protein, I'm going to try and get 160 grams of protein a day, which is about 640 calories. I like a higher fat, so I go 90 grams of fat um, just because I feel full. And I notice that I don't have as many cravings for sugar when I have a higher fat. And then my carbs are at 350 grams because that's just what's left over after I do the fat. And so I'll try to be tracking these some days. I will not be tracking every day because just practicality. I don't have the ability to measure everything when she's screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so I am basically going to just try and do protein throughout the day. I get most of my protein from eggs, Greek yogurt, whey protein, chicken, turkey, steak, seafood. Um, so those are the things I like to eat and get my protein from. I'm going to try to eat most of my carbs from fruit, quinoa, rice, veggies, um, breads with a high micronutrient content. So like Ezekiel bread and then Dave's Killer Bread is like my new favorite bread. And then I'm just going to pay attention to my hunger because I've also noticed that if I don't eat throughout the day, I end up not eating enough calories, which is awful if you're trying to gain muscle. So I have to make sure that I eat every few hours and I don't go too long without not eating. Drink all my water throughout the day. So for me, I would need to drink about 100 ounces of water a day. And so that's about four of these. And then the other thing that I am going to do to help keep me on track is cooking and meal prep. So make sure I have some food ready in the fridge, make sure I have things that are ready to go. 
so that I can grab and go real quick, especially when she needs attention. <laughs> And this is what I look like now. Show you my little physique update. Let's see if I remember how to pose. It's been a long time since I've practiced these poses. Yeah, there's definitely some areas of improvement that need to happen. But I guess that's why we all start you know, having a goal so you can change something. Because you see something that you don't necessarily love. So I guess there's something to be done. And I just took my body fat percent. And I'm almost at 34% body fat. Which is much higher than what I was. 34% is the highest my body fat has ever been. So, hopefully, while I'm on this muscle gain program, I will keep my body fat relatively the same and all the weight gain will come from muscle. So, if you are interested in watching this journey, please subscribe. And we would love if you have a comment down below, something that you'd like me to talk about, something you'd like me to record and show you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.